In northern China, the southwestern part of the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, there is the ancient unadulterated Ardos Plateau. The enchanting place is colored by the Yellow River and the Great Wall. In the modern age, the unassuming beauty of the endless void of this place is rapidly being replaced by rising cities and industries. Facing environmental pollution and the pressure for survival, people at this land are coming to realize the need for finding ways to live in harmony with the nature, maintaining a lifestyle that is in compliance with sustainable development principles, and to build a new home for we humans. From here, they take actions. Building a new home, the China-Sweden Ordos Ecotown Project. The Dongcheng District is the political, economic, and cultural center of the Ordos municipality. It has a total area of 2,530 square kilometers and a total population of 460,000. In recent years, along the direction of integrated urban-rural development and integration between different development areas and developing industry, service and ecological conservation as the foundation of the economy in the district, Dongsheng has been progressing on a unique path of economic development. In 2006, GDP and fiscal revenue of the district reached 19.42 billion and 5.05 billion yuan, with a 42.3% and 71.6% increase respectively. In the meantime, average per capita disposable income of urban residents and the average per capita net income of rural farming and pastoral population were 14,000 yuan and 5,000-8,000 yuan, which are of 18.4% and 23% increases. It is ranked 25th in the top 100 counties in China for comprehensive economic strength. Dongcheng District is located in the typical temperate continental climatic zone, with an annual precipitation of 170 to 350 millimeters and annual evaporation of 2,500 to 3,000 millimeters. It is a semi-arid area where the climate is dry, precipitation is low, water resources scarce, and the ecosystem fragile. An important feature of this area is that groundwater is the primary source for domestic water supply. In the past decades, Ordos Municipality and Dongsheng District have been leading the way in Inner Mongolia with a comprehensive set of measures on environmental improvement, including grazing exclusion and keeping animals out of open pastures to counter the problem of grassland degradation. As a result, vegetation in the municipality has increased from less than 30% to over 70%. It has embarked on a win-win path that integrates production, livelihood, improvement, and ecological restoration. China-Sweden Ordos Ecotown Project is the first experimental base in the world to use EcoSan systems in multi-story buildings in a small town with no less than 1,000 households. This project is jointly developed by the government of Dongsheng District, Ordos Municipality of China, and the Stockholm Environmental Institute, SEI, of Sweden, and is sponsored by the Swedish International Cooperation Development Agency, CETA. Before this project was initiated, the Swedish International Cooperation Development Agency had been promoting ecosan toilets in rural districts in Tianyan, Guangxi, China. Based on the remarkable achievements, further research and development was planned to implement and promote ecosan toilets in multi-story buildings in counties and regions short of water supply. Upon extensive investigations, it was decided to impl implement this project in Dongsheng District, Ordos Municipality of Inner Mongolia. The district government and SEI signed the formal agreement for this ECOSAN research project in August 2003. This project has been implemented since 2003 in three phases covering 55.6 hectares in total. It is planned that 2,500 ECOSAN apartments with gross construction area of 300,000 square meters will be constructed. By the end of 2006, the first phase construction had been completed. It includes 43 apartment buildings with growth construction area of 107,000 square meters that house 833 households, a community center of 4,100 square meters, and a kindergarten of 3,500 square meters. Up to this point, over 500 families have taken up residence in the eco town. With the completion of the first phase construction, focus of the project has shifted to research and development. 
R&D of the project include the following contents. Economic analysis and environmental impact assessment of the Ecosan system, composting research, and demonstration of agricultural reuse of urine and grey water. Survey and analysis of the use of Ecosan system by the Ecotown residents, research on grey water treatment in the Ecotown, and government policies concerning the Ecosan system and their analysis. The Ardos Ecotown project is characterized by its distinct water saving effect. According to calculations, after adopting the Ecosan system with the urine diversion dry toilets, one third of the water normally consumed per person per day with the conventional system may be saved. There are 833 households in the community with an average of 3.5 persons per household and water consumption of 120 liters per person per day if using the conventional system. The Ecosan system's daily savings of water will amount to 116.62 tons for the community. The second feature is that this project has a distinct objective of environmental protection. The Ecosan technologies of this project aim to control pollution at the source. By changing the pollution route of human excreta, feces and urine collected separately are treated in an ecological way and then are used for agricultural production and soil improvement. Solid waste and grey water from the community are collected and treated separately to reach the target of zero discharge of pollutants and wastes. The third feature of the project is that it is cost efficient and easy to implement. This project has changed pollution control from an end of the pipe approach to controlling at the source, alleviating the pressure on municipal sewage treatment and saving the cost of connecting to the municipal sewage network. <laughs> 这个也开始吧觉得整个卫生间有点别扭慢慢用的话觉得挺好用因为节约用水又保护了环境这个挺好的生态卫生小区呢使用生态卫生系统的一个显著的特点就是减水小区每天减水一百一十六栋一年可节